Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey, I'm going to get into doing a fire pit, uh, a different kind of fire pit. Y'all probably tired of seeing the other ones. Actually, I got one right there <laughs> that I'm working on and just finished another one of those. But uh, this is a different kind. This is called what, what they call a Pentagon fire pit. And uh, I've never seen anybody do one of these by hand. The people that I've seen do them, they have them cut on a CNC machine. Either they have a CNC machine or they have somebody that can cut them for them. But we're going to try to do it by hand. And uh, usually they have four sides. Makes it up of eight panels, four sides on each one. Uh, I'm going to do it with five sides just to make it a little more complicated. I don't know why. But anyway, we're going to get into that and see how it turns out.
right y'all that'll wrap the thing up uh i still gotta paint it i think i'm still gonna put a wood rack in it uh a lot of people don't even put wood racks in their fire pits i think it's i think it needs one it's kind of a bad angle to put one in there i may have to make a round one to where to slide down in there but uh but everything's done on it uh it came out real good in my opinion it may it could have been a little cleaner i mean if you got a CNC machine, it'll probably get a little cleaner. I don't know. I've seen some stuff off a CNC machine that really it and all that. You still got to do a lot of cleaning on it. So uh, let's take a look at it right quick. That's it. Little chicken over there. I like the way it came out. I, uh, on the seams, I stitched those and left a uh, open part in the center. I went about three inches from the top about three inches from the bottom All the way on every seam and the reason I did that you can weld it solid But the reason I did that is because when that light shows through that crack right there when you got a fire in it It looks real good like that and there's a tack on the inside of that Also, it may provide a little flexibility when it gets good and hot On the legs I had went ahead and welded those legs up good and solid really I did that because two of them had a pretty good gap in it and some of this had a pretty good gap in it in the fit up because all the pentagons cutting them all with a torch by hand they wasn't all exactly the same and I could have stacked them all up and went and grinded them all down at the same time and made them but that would have took a lot of time and I didn't want to do all that so I just kind of fought with it to get it all fitted up but everything came out good on it all the flames each each panel is slightly different. I mean they're close to the same. But they're a little different. So that'll do it on that man. Like I say, until I get it painted, I'm uh I'm working on this other fire pit. I'm gonna paint them at the same time. And I think one more thing I'm gonna paint at the same time. But uh everything came out good. I need to put a drain hole in the bottom down there right there in the center somewhere and I'm thinking about making a small round rack to go in there I worry about how it's gonna come out of there and go in if it's gonna be hard you know I don't know I may not even put one in there I'm not sure but anyway that'll wrap it up man uh, so I mean if you I know some some people try to build some of the stuff I build and a lot of people do I mean I've seen they, they send me pictures of it and it looks real good they do a good job of it so if somebody tries this one I'm gonna tell you ahead of time man you're in for a lot of work a lot of work if you're trying to cut everything by hand especially with this 10 gauge plate because it's just warping all over the place you got to get it back flat you got to fight with it to get it in there it's a pain but it came out nice so anyway man uh, uh y'all please like and subscribe I think the next video I got a few things coming up <clears throat> I got a vertical smoker I got a reverse flow smoker with a real box coming up I know I'm doing a video on that I got one of those little uh, hibachi grills I'm fixing to do one of those probably gonna do a video on that a uh, couple different things man so y'all please y'all come back and uh, see what's going on next time y'all please like and subscribe and hey if y'all get a chance uh, share these videos man I'm trying to build up my subscribers and uh, I'm already up to I think 24, 24,000, I think. And I'm trying to build it up more. So if y'all get a chance, uh, share the videos. Y'all please like and subscribe and come back for the next one, man.